Do think, they? Yes. Because if they did, they wouldn't be like giving no, it, them hand jobs. Dude, you know, have you seen the that. privates that we get these days? I think they're letting a lot of people through the process. I think if you're if you're with somebody day in and day out for 13 weeks, you have a pretty good idea of who they are at the end of 13 you do. weeks. You do. You would. You would if you were allowed to test them, but you're not allowed to test them at all. Well, that's a problem. At this point, they don't even have to pass a PT test to get out of basic training. I haven't heard that. And, and your job is just to push them through. It's not to it's not to test them. It's not to push them to their limit and allow them to see. You can't even break them down and build them back up because you're told by your chain of command that you're that you can't do that. You can't hey, yell at them. You real can't real talk. Real talk on that, buddy. Real talk on that, buddy. Uh, they send out those questionnaires and people don't fill them out. All right, they send them out to all the senior NCOs in the military about what do we have to do in basic training, and they release those results. Okay, they people do fill them out though. They, everybody, they, I do fill them out. They release them of how many people actually filled them out, and I and I kept trying. My biggest thing was like land navigation. All right, I don't why need don't you people, to spend a week. Why don't people fill them out though? I because they're fucking lazy, right? No, and it's not my, because they're lazy, Nick. It's because they, they don't, don't have AKO. They I don't know. A, think that people don't listen to them, or they B think that it doesn't. It, it's gonna come back on care. them if they say they don't, don't care who's game, filling it out. They don't know who's filling it out. So like you write you you write like my personal when I filled out that survey about what about IET soldiers, right? I filled out you know what fuck land navigation. Just teach them how to use a compass, all right? Don't spend a week on land nav, all right? Let the team leader teach them land nav when they get there, all right? I Like, that's, that's another – that's, that's, that's another week. That's another then week of battle drill training. why do we send training. them to basic training? We send – well, no, we could – It's a basic skill level it one task. No, it's an EIB task. Training. It's an EIB so task. Just gonna have the team it's an EIB task. And go be with their team leader. The problem it's is an EIB we have a bunch task. of team leaders that haven't been taught by anybody either. It's an EIB nav test. Needs to be part of the basic land nav. Definitely. Needs really, to be you want to spend a week on land nav? So when you get a soldier, you who you expect him to know fucking land nav after thirteen weeks? Yeah. Really? Yes. Yes. That's that, that's wrong. I, and then you hone those skills and you make them better. You teach them more. You got to make it twenty. Basic. You got to make it twenty weeks then. You got to make it twenty weeks then. You got to make it twenty weeks then. But I think the point of being there and getting to know the soldier and being along for the entire ride. You're still alive. Let me let me go back to how I met well, I met Nick at MRT, but when you brought that soldier to me, and I don't know if you remember her, and it started the whole Hey, wait uh, a second, Karen, can I ask you a question? Yeah. You met you met Nick at MRT to teach him how to shoot. Wasn't he already through basic training? He should have already known how to shoot. Right. But I wasted a week. On, I wasted a week on land nav, buddy. <laughs> okay, stop. Anyhow, he brought a female soldier to me who was about to get thrown out because it was her last chance to pass her APFT. And when I first met her, she didn't care. She was like, she's she was standing there waiting for me at six in the morning, smoking a cigarette, and I could smell alcohol in her breath. And she didn't care. She goes, I don't want to be in the army. They think I'm a loser. You're right. Uh, they think I'm a loser. That's why she failed the APFT in the first time, because her mindset okay. wasn't there. But let's, right. And so she, it took me, and I kept going back to Nick, and I'm saying, this is really tough. It took me working with her for six straight weeks at PT every single morning to get her to the point that she, and here's the confidence thing you were talking about, to get her to the point to have the confidence to believe that she could pass her APFT test. And Thank I you, Karen. To, I ran the two mile with her. So that's what I'm talking about. See them all the way through it. And right. I'm like, Th thank you, Karen. You so what you're saying is that you didn't give her the option to quit. No, right. oh, buddy. She We've didn't. all been saying that we agree with that. That's what we're saying. They I, do, I do agree with that. But she had to want at some point. You want to kick them out in basic training. In her mind, at some point, yeah. she had to say for herself, I don't want to quit. But that's if why the physical been, component is so important. Right. And that's why like a structured progression of meeting them where they are and progressing them to where you want them to be 
instead of just are, expecting you, them to be somewhere. Alicia, somewhere. you're a hundred percent right. The problem is that what I'm saying is they go through 18 years of their parents giving them bullshit excuses for failure. Right. And then they get here and then they fail a bunch of times and their default is I'll just quit and I'll go back home where it's easy. Yeah. And I don't agree with when that. They're, they're, their default should be, we're going to train you. We're going to teach you. We're going to show you that quitting, you're not quitting on yourself. You're quitting on your team. You're right. quitting on the people that are around you. If you just apply yourself and try, you can actually achieve the goal that you want to achieve. Right. And you and won't fail like, those people. The leaders and the coaches or whoever is in charge, like, they need to realize that not everyone is coming in at the same baseline, unfortunately. Like that would oh, be great. We don't we don't wanna we don't have the discussion about lower and mid level leaders in the army and how we have trained them to be not we we've taken the power away from them and given it to a bunch of officers and allowed them to just kind of go with their gut and their college but, education. I mean, with physical ability comes competence and with competence comes confidence and confidence is what's going to carry people further and further. So and that's what, if we teach that in basic training, I think you're going to have a whole lot less people at the end of those 13 weeks who are going to be the same mindset they were in when they originally came. <laughs> Karen, going. that's Karen. That's what I. Yes, that's Karen, what I was, you are one hundred percent right. That's what I, I was saying when Karen I was one thousand percent. Yep. When I got fired up, that's that's what I was agreeing with. Is that what you're implementing? It, it needs Can to be the standard. Can we all agree that Dave's an idiot? Can we just agree to, that Dave uh, kicking people no, out of basic no. training is an idiot? <laughs> well, just soccer. He likes soccer. That's what makes him an idiot. But everything else, he's pretty he's cool. An idiot. Yeah. Buy a scoreboard, Dave. No one likes soccer. All right. Yeah. That's fine. I'm just hey, so one of I get soccer. I get mad when the Pistons don't score hundred. That's because I don't get a free taco. All right. Hey, so Bill, Bill, Bill what's your what's your opinion on this? I missed half the conversation. I've just been listening to you basically the last five minutes it sounded like that scene in Anchorman. The loud noises. <laughs> <laughs> So that's no, all you got, Bill, huh? What do you got? What do you got Bill, for uh, initial entry but soldiers? The, the little What's that I have baby? listened to. All right, go ahead, Dave. Yeah, initial well, that's the question. You know what the question is? Initial entry soldiers, at what point uh -huh. in their career, military career, when they get to basic training, you know, the stuff that Karen does, the stuff that Alicia does, which is amazing things. At what point do we start implementing those things? Me per se, I say we implement them as soon as they get out of basic training in AIT, when they get to their units because that's when they need it the most. I say if they can't make it through basic training in AIT, Dunsky. And now, you know, I, I'm just like, if they can't make it past that little point, like you got to get a college degree to go work, you know, to whatever job that you want, you know, if you're a degree because you're required to have that degree, you know, I'm just saying like basic training, AIT, the drill sergeants already have enough going on. Their job is to weed out the physically fit ones or the ones that are injured. And that's why they get dropped from basic training. You know, I just think pouring too many resources into that, I think we need to pour the resources once they get out of basic training in AIT and they get to their units, that's when we really start, we need to start working on those individuals. Right, so like, like, Ali like, Alicia, Alicia, like Alicia said, that when you showed up to Kentucky, like you were expected to do this. So right. when you show up to your unit, you should be expected to do this. So if you can't do this, you don't make the team. So but okay, to buddies. They're point, doing that you can still do it, but then there's also quitting, and I just give up and I can't do it anymore. And anyhow, go ahead, go ahead, Karen. Sorry. Point, you know what? If you have the kid who's been coddled his whole life, and, and he that's has a great a point. Team, he gets the 13 weeks to work with someone to teach him. Okay, you can change your mindset. You have the capability to do that. And, and drill sergeants do do that. Let's say this kid was homeschooled his whole life, and his parents let him do anything. Dave, you can change him in 13 weeks. I mean, you I, can't, I agree. Karen, you can't, and drill here, here's, the other, already. here's the other thing. Hold up, Dave. Hold on. How many people per capita are trying to go into Division One colleges? A lot more than they're willing to take. Correct. How many people per capita are trying to join the Army? A lot less than they're willing to take. Okay. 
Okay. You so, get okay. what you get, and you don't throw a fit, like I told my kids for a long time. Are you, you telling me, though, that, the, that, that the, fail rate, like the fail rate in basic training is so freaking high? Because it's not. It's not high at all. Right. The so what does it help to implement it there? We implement it when they get to their units. The man. They're, you got them fired up, buddy. You got them fired up. Then there's X amount of number that's going. They've got to send all of those people. They are passing and getting to our units. We have all dealt with some of the privates, and we're like, yeah. hey, the privates are we getting nowadays? Like, they get to your units, and then you have – I just don't think, like, if somebody higher up is watching – well, it's, it's not live anymore, but Nick's still recording. Like, where the actual assistance from people like – Alicia and Karen needs to come in and is immediately when you get to your unit. Let's get them through basic training and AIT because Karen, that's right. what, that's what I was hey, have, hey, that's what I was saying when they cut me off is, is that's what needs to happen first. They need to spend the money on putting people like Karen in initially, initially. Right in basic training though in AIT? Yeah, train athletes right then and, 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 no. and cut them if no. they, cut them no. if they can't you. make so, it. Sorry. Sergeant here, 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 here's the thing on that. With, uh, kind of the, kind of the, 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 the medium, the medium of what you're all talking about is we need to start a baseline path for people. Like, so they see somebody like Karen in basic training and say, this guy going to take a little bit, this guy ready to fucking go to the team right now. Like, exactly. Like, that's that. That's we, my whole we point. Need we need this is a society it's the military you're judged on meritocracy and let's see how good you are from the beginning no, and rate up, you Karen and that's a good up, point uh, a very important point for individuals that weren't taught they didn't have the father figure like buddy and i'm this is not me being you know an asshole like seriously yeah buddy father, didn't have a dad i gotta like, go and i had a play my dad was first maker you fuck to, Buddy to, was uh, raised by wolves. I was raised by the Sergeant Major. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even go into his house. We don't know who's he's raised by the Sergeant Major. Right, 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 see, yeah. see, he went black mode because he's he he's squatting right now. Yeah. We don't he's know who's squatting, house he's he's squatting while he's peeing. So I agree. I was, I was, I agree. I was, I was raised by the Sergeant Major, to, everybody. So you I can suck up. a dick. I gotta go. I'm gonna go because I got a kid. You gotta run because you're squatting. And all of you are right. So bye. Gotta go. Love you, buddy. Bye, buddy. We love you. <laughs> yeah. All right. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> all right. Do we have anything else we want to discuss? No, or, no, uh... no. Bill, Bill, Bill had some things to say. Go ahead, Bill. Hey, so I'm with Dave on this one. I think implementing it at basic is way too soon, nor do we have the resources to do that. I think basic is easy enough as it is that if you, if you can't get it through that, you, I don't think Karen's going to do all that much for you, Karen you. or Alicia. But if it's part of in-processing, as soon as you show up to a division, Boom. that's when it should be implemented. It should be part of that. There's there's enough bull crap that goes on in that initial in-processing when you show up to a new post that if you were to add a week with a team of Karen's and Alicia's, oh. that would pay dividends. Killer, killer. Way more than most of the crap you have to deal with in your you know, doing your in-processing stuff. So if each post just said, hey, your first week when you get to, you know, Fort Bragg, for instance, you're going to deal with, you're going to go through a week with these people. I think that will play more dividends to getting you a better soldier when they first come to you and then wasting all those resources at basic training. I just They're going through so much shit in basic. All their emotions are yeah. gone from home for the very first time. They're already dealing with a lot of crap. Yeah. They're, they're going to deal with this too. The minute they get to their unit, they're assigned to somebody like you two. Oh, and then yeah. you, Dave, your I, unit I, has I, one of you. Dave, I, I feel like I feel like we all just got kidnapped, and you're telling us to play a game with your backdrop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside. I'm outside. Here's the thing. I think I think when they, if you do it when they first get to the new duty station, they'll be they're going to be way more receptive and yeah. retain more of it. No, I like that, Bill. Entity, when you're just a basic training private, you're just being fire hosed with just new crap and your life is being flipped upside down as it is, that they're, they're not going to retain three quarters yeah. of the stuff they're putting out. But if you do it when they get to their new duty station, hey, it's a week with these folks, they'll retain 
twice as much than they would if 100%. it was a basic or AIT. 100%, Bill. Hey, Bill, I, I, yeah, I, I like what you said. And, you know, that's the thing that I'm sure, I hope this discussion is happening beyond us because we don't control anything. We're not commissioned officers, right? So, like, the officers control it. The, the, maybe Karen and Alicia could come up with, with like that, that idea as well as we don't have those resources at basic training. I agree with that. Uh, I also agree with, you know, hey, that week of integration, you get, in, you get signed into a post and then, oh, by the way, now you have to do PT with Karen and Alicia or whatever job is equivalent to that. And you get baselined right there in that week. Right, like, but now you're gonna need about four or five teams based on the post, and that's the problem. You're gonna need the pro a lot more. Well, yeah. the, the 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 problem is, is again, generals need to win wars with numbers, all right, and then they bitch about the suicide rates and the sexual assault rates and you know the behavioral health rates, but their main mission is to get numbers. So, at what point do we say? No, seriously, let's just have a 300,000 person army of fit motherfuckers. Oh, I like that. Right, I like, right? That. like that's Me it. Too. Right, so how much, Karen, how much would we need at the, even the 25th, which only has two brigades there, at the 25th, how much would we need to, to train 150 people every week coming in? How many people do you need? So that's pretty much what H2F's doing. It's going to be a team. So one of me, one nutritionist, one physical therapist, one strength and conditioning coach for each brigade. Right, but the culture okay. has to change. So yeah, culture and that's another that that's a whole another thing you got to attack. You got all the old school NCOs that are in now. Like it's 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 got to sh the shift has to start from the bottom, but then the shift has to start from the top. The middlemen will be okay. The top has well, to change. H2F's changing, changing that because they're going to make it part of the metal. So colonels yep. are going to start yep. getting fired if, it's, if they don't Correct. meet that metal, right? Correct. So you'll see that culture shift now Basically. that way in the officer world. What I'm asking is, Karen, is how many people, how many teams do you think you would need to actually make a dent in the, the behavioral and physical health of initial entry soldiers? How long would you need with them? To, I don't know, let's say a 50% a, a decrease in, in behavioral health and suicide. Like, what do you how think? Long how, long, how long would you need to just, because I mean, it's, it's a bullshit goal to say we want to solve it by 100%, right? That's a bullshit goal. So, but, like, 50%. But again, you gotta start somewhere. Yep. I think it's an ongoing thing. I don't think I can say, like, okay, three weeks initially. Here's the thing we don't need to take away training time. We can fit, go into your training. If I'm out there at PT every morning, I'm not taking anything away from you. I'm coaching while you're out doing it. So, right, and that's what I used you for. And, and like, yeah. you, you were brilliant you. with it. You finally I shot expert. <laughs> yeah. See, I think that's an unanswerable question you asked her. But I think it all yes. goes to what we were just talking about. Sure. So she, she can help out a lot. And, and you know, a team can help out a lot. But where it's really going to matter is changing that culture of those i would say what the 35 year olds and up yep. i'd say that that group of ncos that culture shift has to happen and officers to really pay its dividends officers will do it though nick officers yeah. have to do it if it's a metal they will do it immediately it's the nco it's us the NCOs yeah. are going to have a harder time yes. doing it the officers it wasn't part of the metal it wasn't part of the metal that's why officers aren't doing it now there has to be buy-in from top down, though. Correct. Yes. Once yeah. it becomes part of metal, officers will buy in. It's going to be the NCOs that are going to be hard to change. Say hi. No, Come go here. ahead. Go. Sorry. That's why I think it's going to be a generational mm -hmm. thing. It's, that's why it's going to take so long. We need to phase out some of those. Those older dudes have to move on before that culture shift can really happen. Great, great discussion. Are you still recording this, Nick? I am. I'm keeping this for, no. for after no. hour say, party. Hi. Yeah. say hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Well, the after hour party. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Hi. Now that would be awesome, but like you need uh, more than five minutes. All right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see.
How many? All right, Dave. I'm going to make you host, and I'm going to get out of here. I got to get off too, so yeah. I'm going out with Megan. Yeah. Go party. I, I'm yeah, done. Mich to. Michigan just had the longest first half in the history of Michigan football. I can't believe that last. <laughs> it lasted the whole show. Michigan's up 35-17. I I got to run. Hey, Bye, Karen, Alicia, it was a pleasure having you ladies on. Thank, thank uh, you. Having yeah. Thank you so Bye. much, Alicia and Karen. Stay in touch and uh, be careful down in Florida. Let me know if you need any help down there. I'll be on for a few more minutes to discuss. Yeah, I'll be in Florida pleasure. next week. Ah. <laughs> uh, hey, my, is, is that is that Mirko? Yeah, this is Mirko.